Welcome back to Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I would just like to acknowledge the fact that this is Alice Madness Returns episode 48. Which means, regardless of length, I have now officially caught up to Let's Play American McGee's Alice in a number of videos. I'm quite pleased about that. It means this game is significantly longer than the original. Or I totally suck at it, you know, one or the other. <laughs> In any event, we've got a memory to retrieve, and I've got an idea about how to do it. Since trying to float directly over there never worked... Let's try it from here. Oh yeah, there we go. You're not a cat, my dear. One life is your allotment. Please be more careful with the carving knife. skill with it. DLC dresses I heard about back in, uh, I think I was on the Mysterious East at that point in the videos. I they were all released on day one for the console versions. They're all themed after different characters. There's a dress that looks like the caterpillar, and one that looks like, uh, the Cheshire Cat. Not that, uh, you're controlling these characters, mind you. It's Alice wearing a dress patterned after them. Like, the Cheshire dress is, uh, gray and covered in those weird tattoos he likes, and it has a tail. Uh, the, uh, did I just see the summon cat thing pop up? Yes, I did. Only when I'm up there. It's weird. The thing that really surprised me is that, uh... Fuck, remember how all the, uh, Dead Space 2 DLC suits had special abilities? making stuff cheaper or making you do more damage with specific weapons. What is truly sought is most often found, if it is findable. Well, the dresses in this also have special abilities, something that none of the dresses in the main game have, I think. I haven't really noticed any differences between them anyway. Caterpillar is wise and all-knowing, you see. So the, dra oh, uh, the caterpillar dress... I don't remember what it's actually called. Some pun on smoking, I think. Makes you have shrink sense on at all times, even if you're not trunk. Well, 
One of them allows you to trigger hysteria mode whenever you want, regardless of uh, where your health is at. I like how the nature of hysteria sort of balances that out. You do a ton more damage to enemies, but they don't drop teeth. Damn it. Beautiful. Oh, hey. I really should have looked around more carefully. Oh, hey, good. Ow, ow, ow. You piece of shit. Not going after those ones. One of them even gives you the, uh... Well, it's described as the effect from shrinking violets, which means you get health regeneration. Thanks, camera angle. Really appreciate that. Down you go. Now where's that nose I just heard? Oh well, that's not creepy at all. Sounds like it's right here. Almost there. Now oh, then, where was I? Swings do not fuck around. Oh, I see. Nasty. Actually, there was, uh, one dress which managed to confuse me. And true to form, it was the Cheshire Cat's dress. Cheshire Cat's ability, I mean, the Cheshire Dress ability, 
is that while you're wearing it, enemies do not drop roses. Which means the only way to uh, heal yourself is with uh, shrinking violets and uh, whatever the local equivalent of smashable crates are. I think it was. The fuck is that? Well, there you are. abstract as uh, places like this or uh, like the card castle in the sky that had the nice music. It was a really weird place but you could see it 
actually being a real place. Like one level was uh, a really twisted school that had classrooms and a gymnasium and stuff. Even the Hatter's old hideout, uh, I think it was called Pandemonium. Sure, it had beds on the ceiling and stuff, but aside from the insane children walking around on the walls, it, uh... Oh, I see. It wasn't all that, uh... Possible and tricks of perspective and such. But I'm rambling. Let me collect this nose. space, but instead it is used in another space to go forward. Interpreted my pressing A as put this piece back here now. Fuck. Oh, I hate these puzzles. That's why I couldn't get it. Poor kid's face is horribly deformed. Bitch, baby. Oh, Jesus. I get the feeling. I don't know, I just get this weird feeling that the uh, doll things and the uh, ruin aren't from the same source. Oh. There you go. Oh, I could have gotten it most of this video. Special uh, event for the 48th video. 
The final upgrade. A level four everything. Let's see the final uh, form of the teapot cannon. Oh wow. That actually does look pretty badass. In any event, I'm Burning Dog Face. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. Later!